I'll actually float this idea. I said on my radio show the other day, if Joe Biden was actually interested in being the person who he ran as as president, a uniter, not a divider, a person who would restore, restore a sense of decency to the White House, I actually think he should pardon Donald Trump on all charges in Washington, D.C. and in all charges on South Florida. Also pardon his own son, say, let's go ahead and put all this behind us and let's get going with 2024 in the event that Biden is going to be the nominee. Go ahead and wipe this off the board because this is absurd and ridiculous. Uh, as much attention as you can give to Hunter Biden, I think the far bigger story for the Department of Justice yeah. is the fact that Hunter Biden uh, is a small part of what's going on with Merrick Garland. They're trying to put Donald Trump in prison for the rest of his life while he's running to be president of the United States. We've never seen anything like this. Trying well, to steal an election, we've never seen anything like. And we also have never seen anything in this country like January 6th. Um, it would be completely oh, ignorant stop. for anyone to try stop. to uh, downplay both like of those incidents or of the what fact that during there the was BLM a sitting protest. Let, her I let you talk. There was a sitting U.S. president who was calling into state offices across the country trying to nullify the votes of everyday Americans. A sitting U.S. president who got on Twitter, you know, formerly known as Twitter X, and was tweeting essentially calling out the names of poll workers and essentially putting a target on their backs. Clay. There is no amount of a pardon that should come for a former president who, one, did not act like a president, and two, did not uphold the values of our well, democracy. Clay, I'll let you respond in a second. If there, were, Harris if, if there were to was, be a pardon, just a minute, if there were to be a pardon, it would probably come after a trial. But